Let's look at the incredible cell. You have trillions of them in your body right now. We'll find out how they work and what that means about our origin right now on Wonders Without Number. What we're going to talk about is how the cell and the activity of the cell and what we understand about the genetics in the cell does not fit the popular view. Okay. It doesn't really fit what they're trying to tell us that it does. And so obviously now there becomes two different interpretations. One is the idea that somehow this has survived for tens of millions of years, don't know how, kind of strange, really defies everything we understand about tissue degradation and protein degradation. And the other, of course, is our position that this is, this is clear evidence that these fossils aren't millions of years old. My challenge is that when Darwin and his contemporaries proposed these ideas initially, 150 years ago, they knew nothing about genetics. Okay. Now, when you know nothing about genetics, then that gives you a free reign to say kind of anything, but it doesn't have to be based in reality. Epigenetics, this is, this is changing the phenotype. Those physical features, your hair color, your eye color, the shape of your ears, the shape of your nose, those change many times not by altering the DNA sequence, but by other mechanisms that affect how the DNA is read. And this is called epigenetics. That's a field that's exploding in the last decade. And so we've now moved beyond just that linear sequence of DNA. We now have, we now have all of this non-genetic events occurring as well in the cell. Through all of Earth history, we have been trying to deny our Creator because that's part of our fallen sinful state. Absolutely. So it's not going to be a situation where you say, okay, raise your hand, popular vote wins. Remember, Jesus said, wide is the gate, and many are on it to go to destruction. Mm -hmm. So popular views aren't necessarily godly views. In fact, many times they're not godly views. So we need to get rid of this idea that somehow because evolution is the popular view, that makes it right. Right.